Tell me about about this character and what drew you to the character. I think it, well, one, it's obviously something I haven't done before in this in, at this level. So it was it was more of just bouncing off Brendan and and playing this guy is. It's it was a fine line in the sense of like obviously he's a doctor, and you don't want him to come across as this gullible kind of idiot. So you know what I mean of of all these how many times you you pull the wool over his eyes. So that was something we were tracking throughout and. And I'm just a big fan of Brandon and, and the type of comedy and the situational and and I just think it's it's like this old kind of classic comedy, you know. And that was what kind of really made me want to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a contrast for you? Have you been seeking roles like that from these other big Hollywood roles you've been playing? Um, I think we always have our eyes out. It's not like okay, now let's go try and do this. It was more of like let's always be trying to find some cool material and, and great people to surround yourself around. You know, um, it's never been like okay, now let's go do you know a two hundred plus million dollar movie. It was just like these opportunities come and and some kind of hit you across the head and you're just like I got to do this. You know, it's like a no brainer if it's you know, working with Andrew Stanton to Oliver Stone to to this little, you know, movie that could, you know, it's just gotten legs all of a sudden and it's great, you know, it's really flattering and, and we're all just proud of it and, and we had a blast making it, which is probably one of the most important things about the process, you know. The doctor loves cricket. That's disgusting. Sushi is bad enough. No, cricket, the sport, cricket. The sport, for God's sake, the sport. Are they like racing? How was it playing with, with Leanne and uh, the, the romantic side of things? It was fun. It was. She's great. I had not been exposed to her work, unfortunately, before. So it was like a clean slate. And, and uh, we had a blast, you know. And she's obviously one of the most easygoing people on the planet. So it was uh, it was fun. She's very engaging. Hi. So uh, I've been drinking. That's exactly what a girl wants to hear when a stranger knocks on her door in the middle of the night. It's not your stereotypical rom-com or like he wins. Yeah, I guess he does win the girl, but it's not like we don't like flesh out that moment and be like, you know, put it on a silver platter for the audience, which I love. And I appreciate that because it's just so easy to go there. It was a dream project for so many reasons, working with Don McKellar whose work I've admired for years. Brendan Gleeson and Taylor Kitsch, the script, having seen the original and loving it, working in Newfoundland and my character, which I really responded to. So it just everything, everything about it was wonderful. So it was easy to <laughs> say yes. <laughs> what was it about the character that, uh, that, that attracted you? Uh, she's a really independent and strong person. And she's the one person in town who doesn't go along with a seduction, which I found very interesting. She really stands by her beliefs. And you'll see when you see the film why she opposes the seduction, but she really stands true to what she believes in. And what was it that you loved about the movie in the first place? The original? The script? The script? Um, it's really heartwarming. It's a really wholesome. Even though it's all based around a big lie, it's actually a very wholesome story. And it's a really nice tale about a community coming together to solve a big problem, which is unemployment, which is a theme everyone can relate to in this economy. Um, and there's so few movies about, about communities, really. There were no explosions in this movie. It wasn't like driven by action or special effects or superheroes. It was just a very human story about people who are facing hard times and coming up with a very creative way to solve their problems together. It was the banding together that is very heartwarming about this story that I, that I thought was really moving. And it's also really funny. What was it like having this romance with, with Taylor? And um, well, it's kind of an anti-romance in a way because my character is encouraged to flirt with him as part of the seduction, but as I said, I don't really go along with it. So I spend a lot of time rejecting him, um, which from my character's point of view makes complete sense. But as an audience member, me watching the movie, I keep going, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. He's, he's so cute. He's so charming. Why are you doing that? So it's very frustrating for me, Leanne, to see what my character is doing. But, um, but as I said, it makes sense. It makes sense 
when you're in Kathleen's head. You know, everybody's pitching in. Do you flirt? Murray, no. 